Hello and greetings from Iceland. This is a short but important update about the potential volcanic eruption that might take place in the Reykjanes Peninsula. But as you might remember, all our warning systems were put to the test the other day when seismometers were showing a magma moving fast up to the surface, but it didn't end up with an eruption. The tremor pulse that triggered this warning faded out and business as usual, but not for long. So I'm not gonna go so far as to call it a false alarm. There was a reason to be careful and evacuate the region around the Mount Kelir. And yesterday the earthquakes started again. And then I mean the larger earthquakes. We are having thousands of smaller earthquakes every day. First we got a 5.1 and that was yesterday. 9 o'clock this morning we had a 4.6 and then a 4.3 just before I'm reading this. And I was also reading that the probability of an eruption to take place is constantly increasing and that is directly from our experts and that is backed up with plenty of data there is extensive net of seismometers gps tracking and aerial footage that are showing deformation under mount faradalsvall and the major change is that the lava tube that has been forming is no longer moving to north towards mount keilir from the north side it's only two kilometers down to the magma and that side is cooler than the south side where it's only one kilometer down to the magma. And magma one kilometer down, that ain't very much. And that is exactly where they expect an eruption to take place in the next hours or days, perhaps weeks. But I somehow have the feeling that something is about to happen because things are moving that fast and the seismometers are just going crazy. So we can literally say that the situation is getting hotter by the hour. The epicenter of this eruption is 20 kilometers from Keflavik International Airport and it is 25 kilometers from the first houses in the greater capital region when it's entered from the Reykjanes Peninsula. So if and when this will happen, we are not just talking about a whole new chapter in all books about geology in Iceland, we might be writing a new chapter in the history of Iceland. It is a monumental event if Reykjanes Peninsula is waking up after 800 years, especially since experts have been warning us for the last 20 years that if the peninsula will start after 800 years, it is a circle that might go on for 200 years. We are not talking about major volcanoes there, but we are talking about very frequent volcanic eruptions, just by our doorsteps, and of course earthquakes as well. And that will for sure put some infrastructure at risk, hot water, cold water, electricity, Keplavik airport, fresh fish export, tourism, and overall just the quality of life in this little but the youngest part of Iceland that houses 70% of the Icelandic nation. That is the seriousness about it. It is by far the worst place to have an eruption in Iceland, but luckily this is the best place for it to happen on the peninsula. Power lines are not at risk with the current model we have about the potential lava stream. And I could actually go on for a whole day to talk about uh, what might happen. But I was actually working on a video that is covering the volcanic system that are the closest to Reykjavik and the greater capital region. There are some very interesting facts there and as usual I will mix that up with some of my footage in order to make it easier to watch and understand. So even if an eruption will start today or tomorrow, I want to say there are no people at risk, very little infrastructure, so it's no reason to panic on our behalf, but a good reason for us to stay alert. And finally, there might be a little wind noise in this uh, soundfile now, but this is North Iceland today and I can't uh, wait to get back to Reykjavik because I really need to set up a permanent uh, sound studio. And I want to thank all of you for your beautiful comments, but it's just so many of them now that uh, I have to admit that I have not been able to answer each and everyone. But I am sticking my nose into the pile on a regular basis few times a day, so I might catch up with it. It is so nice to hear from all of you. And with that, I'm sending you my warmest regards, hopefully not too warm, from Iceland, the volcanic island.